Hello, I am Gary Brantner of Rent Arb Studios Comics, and this is the show where I talk about the comics I have read, the comics I have backed on Kickstarter, where you can get those, and all sorts of fun stuff like that. So, let's start with Le Fay, number three. This is Le Fay number three. Um, I, I had meant to uh, read this because the uh, Kickstarter for number four was going, but it ended just today. And uh, yeah, things came up, and I was not able to d do a review yesterday. I'm sorry if uh, you were interested in backing this, and you were a little late to the game. I gotta be careful what I show you, because not all of these pages are clean for uh, young viewers. But let's see here. Let me find a really pretty page to uh, stop on, and. There we go. So, Lefay number three here is uh, written. Oh shoot! Yeah, written by Marcel Dupree and Joshua Metzger, and it is has a script by Joshua Metzger. Art is by Miguel Angel Ruiz. Colors by Vittorio Estone, and lettered by Marco Della Vor. Verde, and it is published by, I can never pronounce it this right, let's see where it is, oh shoot, well it's a no sleep, it says right there no sleep, but uh, it also is Evo, Evolution, Evolution OEE, Evol Evo Lu Zioni, I think. I don't know. If there's a correct way to pronounce that, please help me out here. Uh, yeah, every every time I see that, even in my head, I, I'm like, uh, the thing that pops out is Zion, but I don't know if that's what we're going for. Anyway, this is Lafay number three. It's got freaking awesome art. It's got a freaking awesome story. And uh, yes, I did back number four, but I was not able to tell you about it yet because I did the episode too late and I, this was at the back of my read pile but I bumped it up to read because there was a Kickstarter going on it it must have been a really short Kickstarter or something because uh, it's already over so yeah uh, this in this issue the, man it just the plot sped along really fast it, really exciting read um, there there are some uh, bounty hunters from another world looking for this uh, it, old god and basically an old god is like a monster kind of uh, like something that uh, Hellboy would have brought through by putting his hand in that stone so um, so everybody wants their hands on this thing and uh, Merlin is in the story and Le Fay, uh is one of the people trying to get it. There's a whole uh, handful of witches, coven I guess is what you'd call those. They're after it and uh, yeah this Jack the Springer stole it to sell it to Merlin and then he backs out of his deal. So Le Fay, number three, it was an awesome read. If you can get your hands on one, two, and three I recommend it and also four since it's also out. Um, yeah no sleep and yeah these are these are some good reads um, I'm gonna continue to read Le Fay every time it comes out I'm gonna be back in that one so you're gonna be hearing about it soon when I uh, get number four in my hands and read that one so yeah Le Fay awesome read really awesome art uh, yeah um, yeah, Miguel is doing a, a crazy job on it. The colors are amazing. It, such good work. Um, let's see here. Oh yeah, and awesome, awesome work by the letterer. Check out that crack. That is pretty cool. So good stuff from Le Fay. And now, oh yeah, there were some posters with it. Oh shoot, I don't know where the prints went. Here is a print that I got from. Uh, Snow White Zombie Apocalypse. This is a postcard. See? I had, it says Gur Meat on it from uh, BBAW, which is 
I think, the Big Bad Alpha Wolf, if I'm correct. So this is going to be going up on my uh, wall of prints. Don't know where, but I will probably, I'll post a picture under uh, this video when I do it. I'll post it on the Twitters. So, Snow White, issue two, Snow White, Zombie Apocalypse. Oh man, this is some awesome stuff. I think the artist changed from the first issue. But uh, it's okay because the art still works. The art is still awesome. So what we're looking at here, it's got a Snow White, Zombie Apocalypse. Um, this is one of those where uh, Cthulhu shows up. Uh, I really don't know a lot about Cthulhu other than it's a Lovecraft. And... Uh, Pretty cool stuff. So Cthulhu in the uh, Snow White universe here. Awesome stuff. We've got, in this story, uh, we've got the introduction of the Lumberjack. The one that uh, saved Red Riding Hood, I assume. And, uh, yeah, let's see. Oh, I haven't given you the credits yet. So, uh, yeah, as you can see there, there's the Lumberjack. The credits here are written by Brenton Langell. Art and Letters by Luana Vecchio, Vecchio, edited by Andrea Lorenzo Molinari, and produced by Joel Rodriguez. This is uh, an autonomous collective book. See that? Autonomous collective right there. Um, I thought it was a scout book, but I guess I'm wrong. It's weird. Um, yeah, so autonomous collective. I'm not able to find them anywhere on the Twitterverse. Maybe they don't exist on Twitter. Who knows? So, yeah, in this story, we are introduced to the Lumberjack. And he uh, he joins the little merry team of uh, Rapunzel and Prince Charming and Snow White. And then we get a little backstory on uh, Rapunzel and Prince Charming, uh, the kingdom they came from, and stuff like that. So, yeah, the artwork on this is really cool. I like it. It's got a got a really cool style to it. There's some uh, Cthulhu Storm in the Castle, it's kind of like a uh, I don't know that that anime thing where with the giant people that eat yeah and they have muscles and weird skeletons. Um, so yes, Snow White Zombie Apocalypse, it's awesome stuff. Oh yeah, and it's on Kickstarter right now for issue three. So if you want to check this out, you could probably get one, two, and three from uh, Kickstarter right now. Go on to Kickstarter right now. Search for Snow White Zombie Apocalypse. Good stuff. Oh, check this out, too. Um, my name's even on the uh, thank you page. Bottom corner right there. Check that out. Gary Brantner of Rentnarb Studios Comics on the thank you page. So, yeah, that's a really cool uh, bonus to backing on the Kickstarters. So you can back Snow White Zombie Apocalypse right now on the Kickstarters for issue 3. Get one, two, and three in the whole bundle. I recommend that. Awesome stuff. This one's signed by Brenton Lengel, it looks like. I don't know. I think it's, that's a B and an L. I can see that much. That's kind of like how my signature is, too. So, yeah. Snow White, Zombie Apocalypse. Really awesome stuff. Uh, it's great stuff. Um, yeah. Cthulhu, my name. Lumberjack. All that fun stuff. Now, we move on to... This boy. Uh, I got this from my local comic shop. This is a Scout Comics. Yep, that's what it says right there. Scout, number one. Look at that cover. It is so freaking awesome. Um, so, uh, Tart, right now, is... I, I read the first issue, uh, in single issue, and I loved it so much that I added it to my hold. And there's some cool stuff. Check that out. It look, It is done on canvas. How cool is that? See the texture of the canvas in there? Um, and every issue is uh, a whole different art style. Yet, even though it's a whole different art style on every in every uh, different section of the book, every time she goes to a different timeline, because she's a time traveler, this Targ character, it is still the same illustrator every single time. It is written by Kevin Joseph, Illustrated by Ludovic Sally, lettered by DC Hopkins, edited by Cassandra Bell. 
Scout editor Andrea Lorenzo Molinari. Oh, cool. That that name was in the uh, Snow White Zombie Apocalypse. And uh, scout production Joel Rodriguez. Hey, that name was also there. So I guess that is a scout production. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, this one definitely is. It says Scout Comics right there. Check out that awesome illustration there, too. Uh, so yeah, Tart, holy cow. I, I love the trade, so as soon as I found out there was a trade, I had my comic shop pick it up. And uh, this is just chock full of amazing art. The story is so trippy and out there and uh, just crazy wild. Uh, there's a lot of different monsters in this. They're, they're doing training sessions in this. Uh, there's a whole team of uh, characters that can time travel and save the world. Most, they're all girls. They all have cool uh, fruit names, it looks like. There is um, Cherry... I can't remember all the names now. Nah, I can't find anywhere where all their names are anyway. But there's a Cherry, a Lemon, and a, a Tart is the main character, our, our Tart. All that fun stuff. Um, yes, let me see. And, oh yeah, I was going to... Every... Um, Chapter break has these cute little uh, chibi, chibi, chibi is what I'm thinking it is, character drawn looking things, so that's cool. There, This one had featured some shark mermaids, so there's a shark chibi. So yeah, check this one out. Um, Scout Comics, ask your local comic shop to pick this one up. My local comic shop, I'll give them a shout out here, is Gamers Asylum in Ogden, Utah. And uh, they're an awesome place to pick up comics. They they hold whatever they want, whatever I ask for. I send them a text, and I say, hey, and and a screen capture usually of uh, something I saw on Twitter. I say, hey, this is what I want, and some, most of the time they tweet out the code. So I'm like, hey, this is what I want. November number 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 number, and will you get this for me? And they're like, yeah, sure. I think I just did that with. Um, oh man, there's a there's something. I know I'm going to be doing it again soon because there's this uh, Paprika comic coming out that I really want, but I don't have a code for that yet, but as soon as I do, I'm going to send a screenshot to my comic shop and say, hold that one for me. And that's what I did with this one. I said, hey, Tart is coming out, can you put it in my hold? So this is Tart from Kevin Joseph, he's an awesome guy, um, does a lot of cool stuff. Oh yeah, and I, I, while I'm on the subject of Tart, it is on Kickstarter right now. Uh, they're on their 12th issue. So that is just issues... Um, this is just issues 1 through 5, I think. That's how most trades go. But you can get it this trade and uh, issues all the way up to 12 on Kickstarter right now. Um, it's on there only till, till November 27th, though, so you better hurry. Uh, yeah, the 27th is coming up fast. So go on to Kickstarter, get Tart, or... Ask your local comic shop to get it, like I did. You'll get this awesome, holy crap, 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 holy cow, and holy crap at the same time. Holy crap. Uh, yeah, check out Scout. This cover is beautiful. I, uh, I think I want a print of it up on this wall because it freaking looks awesome. It looks like a cover to some London band, right? So, anyway... Tart, awesome story. I really enjoyed reading that. A lot of time travel, superhero stuff, girl teams, sexiness, all that fun stuff. So check out Tart. And, uh, yeah. Oh, next up on my list of what I've reviewed, um, I, I got this for my birthday. Uh, last week was my birthday. And my kids always get me an action figure. Check this guy out. I got a Batman action figure and a Superman DVD. And then we watched the movie last night, me and the girls did. Uh, and yeah, my girls were really impressed with this movie. They they watched it the whole time, never picked up their phone once, which is, it's amazing for them because, you know, they're 15 and 17, so. Uh, check out Red Sun. It's what if, instead of landing in Kansas, kal -El's ship landed in the Soviet. So, it's pretty cool stuff really crazy stuff out there uh, with the Soviet Batman and a, an American president Lex Luthor, all that fun stuff. It was an awesome, awesome watch and uh, 
it was an awesome birthday present, so I'm glad I was able to get that and watch out with my girls. And I recommend checking that out. Oh, and here, here's a print I found, so I'm going to be hanging this up. This is from a Mutant Chasers book I backed way back when. Um, I think they also did a Minx uh, comic that I backed, so... Um, yeah. So yeah, I need to put this... I think it's an Otto Schmidt uh, postcard. And I need to put this up on my wall. Found that in my uh, desk. So now we are going to move on to um, the mailbox. Checking out the mailbox. Oh, that reminds me. Checking out my, what's in my mailbox right now. So I got, as a birthday present to myself, uh, the entire run from 92 to 99 of Batman. The animated series. Found it on uh, a website, we'll just call it Wally World. And I found it on there really cheap, Black Friday stuff, whatever, and so I got this for myself for my birthday. So I can't wait to watch this with my girls. Um, yeah, we had that subscri uh, trial subscription of the DC app, and obviously we didn't get to watch Batman because they only it let you try it for seven days. And so we burned through the whole Teen Titans thing, but there was no time to watch the Batman animated series. And I'm like, there's just so much of it. And, uh, like, I used to uh, get home as quick as I could. Let's see, 92? That was before I was I had a driver's license. But, uh, yeah, I remember riding my bike home as fast as I could to record. Well, I'd have a timer set on my VCR to record Batman the animated series. But, you know, VCR timers weren't reliable when I was a kid. You could set the timer, but if your dad watched the news, you ended up with Judge Judy or some Judge Wapner or some nonsense that you weren't planning on watching. So you get all excited, you're going to get home, watch Batman, and you turn on as Judge Wapner. And so, yeah, a lot of times I would just race home anyway because then I can get home and change the channel to the right channel. And so that's what I got in the mail. Can't wait to watch it. Batman the Animated Series from 92 to 99. So many episodes. Can't wait to watch that. Another awesome thing I got in the mail. This thing has so much with it. It came with an awesome coin. Awesome art books. It was called Paris 2119. It is a future. Um, it looks like there's a pandemic or something going on from what I flipped through. Check that out. It is a uh, watercolor postcard. And here is another art book. Awesome. Paris 2119. Whoa, what is this? Someone's calling me. And it came with this huge hard book. The art in this is amazing. Let's see if I can find a page to show you. Check out this art. I can't wait to read that. It's going in my read pile. Really, really huge. Oh my heck. There's e I didn't even notice that before, but there is a silhouette gloss painted onto there too. I don't know if you can see that, but holy cow, that is an awesome book. So yeah, all this fun stuff going in my read pile. I don't know what I'm going to do with the giant coin, but that's cool. Wish it was a tiny pin, then I would wear it on my face mask, or on my tie. So a lot of cool stuff. Paris 2119, going into the read pile. Batman the Animated Series, going into the movie watching list, which is Thanksgiving week, so uh, maybe I'll have a minute to watch that with my girls. And uh, yeah, let's see, what else is going on? Oh, now on to... Kickstarter news. Hashtag Kickstarter comics and Kickstarter comic. So, what is in ki Kickstarter right now? Obviously, uh, Tart 1 through 12 is on Kickstarter right now until November 27th. Check out Tart. It's an awesome read, as I just said. Really awesome stuff. Can't wait to get the next issues. Snow White Zombie Apocalypse number 3 is on Kickstarter till December 17th. Check out uh, Snow White Zombie Apocalypse. 
Now, here's one that's ending in two days. The encoded. I got the encoded plus a pin. And, uh, yeah, because I'm a fan of pins. So, check this one out. November 27th is the deadline on it. It is a... It takes place in the year 2055. It's a minority report plus the purge plus man versus machine. So, you get the Matrix and Terminator stuff going on in there. And, uh, so this is a society that's scared of AI. And, uh... They came up with an idea of shutting down the internet. Like, it, it'll randomly shut down so that the the uh, the robots can't, can't know when it's coming. But basically what they do is shut down, check for any bugs and stuff. They can shut down for a day. They can shut down for a month. You just don't know. So, randomly, this is a, uh, this is a world where uh, all your technology shuts down for who knows how long, and you have to live without it. So... That's going to be a cool comic. Who knows what goes on in that one. Well, obviously the writers do, so check that one out. Here's one called OBS, The Devil Went Down to Georgia. This is not safe for kids, but it, uh, it interested me. Um, it is an occult secret service kind of uh, Charlie's Angels thing, and it's 32 pages. It's a one-shot and it's a team that battles the forces of darkness. It is on Kickstarter till December 9th. OBS. That sounds cool. Check that one out. Operation Eclipse number two. Um, I'm not familiar with it since it's the second issue. Uh, I had to get one and two in my backing and it's... oh shoot. It's on Kickstarter till November 25th. That one's over because today is the 25th. But if it's still on there and you're able to check it out it probably has hours to go, minutes, who knows. Um, check out Operation Eclipse number two before it's too late. Uh -huh. Murky Waters is a 56 page anthology. Tons of artists in it. A lot of good artists that uh, I know, I'm familiar with their names from the Twitterverse. And uh, Murky Waters is kind of a, a, a scary anthology. Kind of something I got the vibe of the, that it's like uh, the haunting of Hill House and haunting of Bly Matter. So that interested me. Check it out. Murky Waters on Kickstarter till December 9th. Oh, here's one that ends it this week. Talos of Sparta number one. It is on there till November 29th. It is a soldier pulled from his own time and uh, he's with a magical priestess. And. Uh, that's about all I know about it. It looks really cool though. The artwork looks really clean, really awesome, and uh, it's from comics to movies. So check out Talos of Sparta number one on Kickstarter till November 29th. Ooh, The Crossing 5 is on Kickstarter till December 9th. Crossing is a the story of a goth girl that um, it's a ghost goth girl. What do you know? I kind of have a thing for ghost goth girl comics. Anyway, this ghost goth girl, uh, she died in a train accident, and the engineer that was running the train is haunted by her spirit, and she constantly is in his house, in his apartment, always nagging him, telling him to stop playing games, and do this, and do blah, 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 and you start unraveling the mystery of how she died, and because uh, it was figured a suicide at first and um, turns out it wasn't so that's the mystery you got to figure it out and she remembers that she had a sister and so she wants to save her sister and I guess being a ghost she forgot she didn't know anything about who she was or what was going on crazy circumstances in her death so now uh, yeah they're on the case there's a whole bunch of people they go to it like an AA meeting but for people that are haunted by ghosts and that's how he meets other ghosts and it's pretty cool stuff. Crossing 5 on Kickstarter till December 9th. And the crossover division number one is a 48 page comic book and it's about a division of people that uh, occasionally things from storybooks become real like uh, say the Wizard of Oz or Peter Pan which if Peter Pan does happen to show up in this book, I'm going to be awesome, happily awesomely happy. Okay, I'm going to be enthused 
about that because I'm a Peter Pan fan. I make my own Peter Pan comic. But Crossover Division, uh, I read a little five-page or two-page sample of it that they had on the Kickstarter, and it looked awesome. You you have to deal with the uh, flying monkeys in this one, and they show up at this castle that appeared out of nowhere with some slippers and say, hey, these are some magical slippers. I just seen pretty funny stuff. Uh, I got a kick out of that. So check out the Crossover Division. It's on Kickstarter till December 11th. Now, on to one that I just backed right before Push and Record. This is Pop Kill 3 and 4. Um, Pop Kill 1 and 2, I really don't know what the story is about because I just barely got it and my read pile is this long. And, uh, because I, I put it on a shelf. And so it was at the end of my read pile and I bumped it up to the beginning because I'm going to have to read it bef before this Kickstarter ends because. What if I don't like it and I have three and four coming? Hmm. But who knows? It's got a lot of cool artists involved. Um, Devil Pig. Uh, oh, crap. I can't remember his name. And uh, Jimmy Palmiotti, Palmiotti is uh, the writer of it. Paper Films. All that fun stuff. So this is a world where uh, there are these two Siamese twins. twins, And they, when they get separated, they make their own uh, cola companies. And uh, they want to know the there's espionage involved, and they want to know what each other's doing. So they send assassins and spies over at each other. And so this is the assassins that kill the pop people, pop kill. Makes sense to me. Um, the art looks freaking amazing, and uh, there's a lot of hype around it. So we'll see. This one ends on December 25th, so I have some time to read it. But by the next episode, hopefully, I will have read Pop Kill one and two to let you know what's going on there. And yeah, that's where we are with that one. Check out Pop Kill 3 and 4, the finale, on uh, Kickstarter till December 25th. So that brings me to the end of the show, and that's where I talk about um, other things that are going on. Like uh, I'm watching Supernatural Season 6 right now um, for the first time. I started the season a long time ago, but... Uh, I didn't get very far but because there's so many shows out there. But yeah, right now I'm watching Supernatural during my lunch breaks at work. Stuff like that. So I am burning through Supernatural Season 6. Getting there. Um, the podcasts I am listening to, I am listening to The House of Indy and Two Scout Geeks. Two Scout Geeks is two geeks that talk about Scout Comics. Because Scout Comics, they're putting out a lot of good stuff, obviously. Tart and... Uh, um, I just had it in my hand. Snow White, Zombie Apocalypse. And they also put out White Ash here. And um, a lot of good stuff. It, eat what's feed, it Eats What Feeds It is a Scout Comics that uh, I am going to be getting soon. Told my uh, That's the one I told my comic shop to hold for me. Is get, to get the trade of that or start the hold of that. And so, and um, yeah. Scout Comics is awesome, so that's why I listen to a podcast called Two Scout Geeks. And The House of Indy, which, oh man, I listen to too many podcasts, because uh, I was listening to an episode today on my way to Plasma, and uh, they were talking about this Cthulhu Invades Oz comic, and I'm like, oh, that sounds awesome. The second I got to Plasma, I got on the Wi-Fi, and I looked it up, and it was over. It ended literally while I was driving. And I was so upset, I wish I could have backed that one. But uh, I missed the window on that one. And uh, yeah, especially because it's an Oz book, that would be awesome to see what's going on in an alternate world of uh, someone else's creation of Oz. But yeah, I missed that one. Hopefully um, I could find a way to buy it from him after the Kickstarter's over, we'll see. Or I could back the next issue and get that one. We'll see where that one goes. And uh, I think that's it. Um, what can I tell you about? Uh, let's see. Yep, that's about it. It's going on. Oh, yeah. Um, Rentnard Studios. As you can see, I made this mug. This is a Rentnard Studios mug that I got from uh, Redbubble. I have a Redbubble page where I'm selling my art as t-shirts and mugs. So check that one out. 
if you want to swing some cash my way, buy a shirt, I get some money off of it. I'm still waiting to hear back on a Weezer shirt that I uh, submitted because they have a, uh, a trade agreement with Weezer to sell their merchandise and I drew a shirt a long time ago and I'm hoping things go well with that because my shirt looks pretty and I want it. I'm a big fan of Weezer so I'd love to have a shirt that I drew with Weezer on it. And um, yeah, and I have a lot of Ren Arb shirts up there, Peter Pan the Vampire shirts, and mugs. I'm a big fan of buying my mugs with my uh, logo on them. And I have some other ones in the works. As you can see, this is a spoof of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles turned into Rent Arb Studios. Everybody does that one, though. Um, I have a Rolling Stones version I'm do working on and a Krispy Kreme that I'm doing in Rent Arb Studio. And who knows? Maybe I'll do some other versions. We'll see. But And someday I'll turn them into tie pins. That'll be awesome. Um, so on that note, uh, yeah, it was just my birthday. All that fun stuff. Now I'm 43. Holy crap, I'm getting old. Um, and, uh, yeah, check out Peter Pan the Vampire on IndiePlanet.com. You can download free comics to your phone, or you can buy the hard copy. I'm working on getting an Etsy shop, shop, Etsy shop going so that I can sell my pins and signed copies of my comics on there. I have many comics that I can sell on there. All sorts of fun stuff. If you want me to talk about your Kickstarter... Uh, shoot me a message on the Twitter or the Facebooks or an email at peterpanthevampire at yahoo.com. Say, hey, check out my Kickstarter and I'll check it out. I'll talk about it for sure. If you send me an email about it, I'll talk about it. Whether I back it or not, but I might even back it. We'll see. Um, yeah, fun stuff. And uh, yeah, I need to... Oh, motivation is really hard right now. I need to get working on my Peter Pan the Vampire 4th issue and crazy stuff's going on but yeah I've got a I've got plans but I also have a lot of plans to work on my house uh, it's gonna be winter soon so my father-in-law is gonna be going to the ranch his ranch a lot less working with horses since it's gonna be snowy so we're gonna be working on my basement a lot more so my time is gonna get a little harder to manage so we'll see what we do and that's it I'm out bye